Hi, this is Team WC Math and Mrs. Wainwright with study hints for the place value chart test. So of course we see in front of you the blank place value chart. That's exactly what you'll see on your test. Now, the first thing that we want to do is fill in our periods. That's the first strategy, fill in the periods. We know we did this in class. Remember the saying? Ones, thousands, millions, billions, ones, thousands, millions, billions, ones, thousands, millions, billions, ones, thousands, millions, billions. But we also know that some of us still had a hard time and mix that up. So the good way to remember that, of course, everything in my life is about chocolate, will be, oh, there's my bar, because everything's about chocolate. Oh, there's my bar. Once we have that part, we can then go ahead and fill in those periods. O stands for ones. TH stands for thousands. M stands for millions. And B stands for billions. Ones, thousands, millions, billions. Now that the periods are filled in, we go back and we find our decimal. Right up at the top, here it is. I like to take a highlighter, and you too can take a highlighter on your test and fill in our decimal column in highlighter. We know right before the decimal column is our ones column. There's only one one, and there's only one decimal, so we highlight both the ones column and the decimal since there's only one of each of them. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at what I learned back in kindergarten and first grade. If I just simply took this number, 256, what columns is each digit in? Well, the 6 is in the 1's column, the 5 is in the 10's column, and the 2 is in the 100's column. So to make my writing easier, I'm going to turn my page sideways and write 1's, 10's, hundreds. Once I do that, remember I'm going to go fill in the rest of my whole numbers and the whole numbers go from the decimal in this direction. Those are my whole numbers and they follow the pattern. So just like in the ones, tens, hundred, your very first column on the right hand side is the name of the period. This is the ones period, so that's the ones column. Remember there's only one one so you wouldn't say one ones and ten ones and hundred ones. You simply say one because you only say one one time. We have ones, tens, hundreds. Okay, I'm into the next period, which I know from the thick lines. It's called the thousands period. So it's going to be the same name right here. Thousands. And it follows the same pattern. Ten with the name of the period. Hundreds with the name of the period. So I have ten thousands and hundred thousands. I'm getting to a new period as I can see by the thick lines. The first column will be the name of the period. Millions period, so this is millions. And again it follows the same pattern, ten of the period and hundreds of the period. So it will be ten millions and hundred millions. I see the thick line, I know I'm moving to a new period. First column is the name of the period, billions. And again, it follows the same pattern, 10 of it and 100 of it. So it will be 10 billions and 100 billions. And now I've finished with my whole numbers. Once I've finished with my whole numbers, I'm going to move to my numbers that are less than one or less than a whole Hershey bar, and those are my decimal numbers right here. So I'll turn it back here. Now remember, we highlighted the ones in the decimal because there's only one one. We'll never say that number again. The decimal numbers move in this direction, or when it's this way, they move to the right of the decimal. I follow the same pattern that I did for my whole numbers. The only difference is I add THS at the end because that shows that it's actually less than one. There's only one one, I won't repeat it. What comes next? Tens. So down here will be tenths with the THS at the end. 
Next comes hundredths, so this will be hundredths. See, it's hundred with the THS at the end. Next comes thousands, so this will be thousandths. It's thousand with the THS at the end. Next comes ten thousands, so down here will be ten thousandths. And again, it's ten thousand with a THS at the end. Now we can have completed the entire place value chart. Please make sure you study, follow those steps. It will definitely help you. Happy studying.